What's up, y'all? Bring you guys another video. So the uh, co-feature, the co-main event of the Javante Tank Davis versus Isaac Cruz fight was the Sebastian Fandura versus Sergio Garcia fight. Um, I honestly didn't watch the fight. I was at work and I was busy at work during this fight, so I, I missed out on it. But I was following a lot of people on Twitter, um, you know, refreshing it, keeping me updated of what how the fight was going and who was winning this and that. And I've seen clips here and there. It looks like YouTube's doing a good job um, taking the uh, fight out here on YouTube whenever somebody posts it out because I can't find it anywhere. At least at the time I'm making this video, I can't find it anywhere. But anyway, uh, judging from the clips that I've seen and judging from how people reacted, it looks like a lot of people thought Garcia should have been the winner of this fight. Um, in the end, Fondura ended up winning by unanimous decision. Fight went the whole 12 rounds. 115, 113, 118, 110, 117, 111. If anything, um, a lot of people thought that the 118, 110, 117, 11 should have gone in favor of Sergio Garcia, uh, or at least have it close, like that one judge who had it 115, 113. A lot of people had it really close, but if you had to pick somebody, it seems like most people were picking Sergio Garcia winning this fight. I saw some people having a draw. Um, so had had uh, Fundura winning a close fight, but the majority seemed like had uh, uh, Sergio Garcia from Spain uh, winning most of the rounds, based on what I've seen, um, from what I've read, I should say. Like I said, YouTube's doing a good job taking it out, so uh, couldn't watch it, but you know it is what it is. Um, but based on what I've seen of it, the clips that I've seen of it, it seemed like Fundura was fighting. Like a short man. It looks like he wasn't really using his his height and his reach that much. Like I'm I'm watching these clips and I'm like, bro, why do you have to go so close to him in order to throw a jab? You have all that distance to throw a jab and there's no need to throw uppercuts too. You have that long follow up left or right. You know, it, it just does not make sense. He needs to find a trainer that can help him. Uh, take full advantage of that height that he has that height and reach that he has because uh, he's, he's not he's not he's fighting like a short man Fondura and Garcia was able to get to him get landing some good clean shots on him and um, You know, I know Fondura is what 23 years old. He has a long long future ahead of him but uh, you know, it's time to it's time to learn from your mistakes and uh, improve on them and I hope he does that for his next fight. Because now a lot of people know that he lost this fight. Or a lot of people, you know, question this this fight. Um, he This fight apparently is a WBC title eliminator fight. And the winner will, is going to be fighting Charlo. So Fundura might end up fighting Charlo. Or the winner of Charlo Castaño in the near future. But I think Team Zoo has next. And I believe Madrimo, the winner of Madrimo Solo might end up getting next. I don't know what's going on with this whole 154 pound division. I keep seeing title eliminator after title eliminator. I, I've lost count of who who has next for the world titles. So anyway, uh, sucks for Sergio Garcia. Um, suffers his first loss in his pro career. Uh, this would have been another great win for Spain, who is honestly on track of getting really big wins this year. With uh, Sander Martin getting that win against... Uh, Mikey Garcia and with Kiko Martinez getting the the ch title win against uh, Kate Galahad um, But you know it is what it is uh, Sergio Garcia it's not the end of the world. He's 29 years old. He he'll be back um, I mean I did pick him to win this fight. So honestly, I'm not really surprised of how people are reacting It just sucks that uh, you know, he ended he did not get the decision um, Let me know your thoughts in the comments Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. If you saw the fight, and like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.